Y'all, at this point, man, Big Baby Miller needs to go be a security guard at the Jerry Springer show on Steve Wilco's show. He needs to go be a bouncer at a nightclub in New York City. I don't know. He needs to be security for one of these rappers or entertainers or something. I don't know. Because his ass don't get it. He keep getting popped for PEDs time and time again and keep on messing up his family's money. I know his wife sitting at home looking at his ass like, Motherfucker, I can't believe you keep on messing up our opportunities. Damn, I know she's sitting there shaking her head. Like, they could have been millionaires twice over, right? Like, I promise y'all, all he had to do when he went in there with Anthony Joshua, he could have went in there and got knocked out in the second round and could have secured his family's wealth. For real, could have been, had seven, eight million dollars or something. He could have just secured it. They could have had millions and been sitting comfortable, even if he would have gotten knocked out. But he keep wanting to pump steroids in his body time and time again. After getting popped, um, last year for three, three different performance enhancing drugs. My man's first fight, he was scheduled to fight since he got suspended for them steroid for the steroid usage. His first fight back, he got popped for PEDs once again. And at this point, he just don't care about nobody else's life. But he, like, I don't even know if he care about his damn life. Because I know having all them PEDs in your body can't be healthy. For real. Like, bro, your heart gonna explode. Like, all them damn PEDs you pumped into your body... Your damn heart is going to explode. He got the whole damn pharmacy in his body at this point. Jarrell Big Baby Miller got the whole pharmacy in his body, and he don't get it. Like, for real. And if you ever watch Big Baby fight, like, I, before all this came out, I used to always look at him like, damn, man, he got a really high work rate for a dude that's 300 plus pounds. Like, the dude, like, 315 pounds. And he got a, like, he got the work rate of a middleweight. I used to be like, God damn, like, what is like, what is this dude made of? Like, for real, his endurance was always very unusual. But now, since all this come out, it, it, it makes perfect sense now. All of it makes perfect sense. And I know his slogan. I know Big Baby's slogan. I mean, yeah, I know uh, Big Baby Miller's uh, slogan. It, I know it is. I know it's hard work and medication is all it takes to get to the top for him. Hard work and medication. I know that's exactly, you know how Floyd used to be like, Hard work, dedication. His shit is hard work, medication. I know it is, bro. It, it, it gotta be. It gotta be. And I, I, at this point, I don't know who with a right mind, what trainer with a right mind would send their fighter into the ring with him. Knowing all that he got in his system. Who would do that? Nobody gonna do that shit. Nobody is gonna do that. Nobody gonna risk it. This dude, 300 plus pounds, and I don't care if he got pillow fists. At 300 plus pounds... If a fighter is trained, the way a boxer is trained, he could kill somebody because they know how to properly throw punches the right way to get somebody up out of to really hurt somebody. He could kill somebody. All these uh, deaths that we've seen in boxing as of late, nah, bro. You're not going to get to just stick around and just keep on getting chance after chance after chance. Ever like get suspended for a couple of months and everything be good. Nah, bro. That ain't how it happen. It's not going to happen like that. This man carrying more drugs than the damn cartel. On him, like he really carrying more drugs to the cartel, and think he just gonna get away with it. And when he fought against, he was when he was scheduled to fight Anthony Joshua. I don't know how the hell he thought he was gonna come at a prime time fight like that against a champion, and thought he was gonna get away with uh, uh, taking steroids. Fam, at this age of boxing in the, in the '90s, in the '80s, he could have got away with it. But after Floyd Mayweather, Ben was advocating for drug testing so heavily, they drug test. Heavily now, extremely heavily, and they they own it to make sure ain't nobody juicing at all. They just trying to make sure everybody in the sport is clean. He like how the hell he thought he's gonna get away with that? You fighting in the garden to a big venue and a big a big fight like that? He thought he was gonna just with three different PDs, fam. Three? Nah, bro. It wasn't gonna get it. wasn't gonna happen like that. It wasn't gonna happen like that at all. That man got the whole damn pharmacy in his body, and he, he don't care about his family wealth at all because. He could have had them set. They could have been straight. Kick back, living, like, chilling on the island right now. Some just chilling, just relaxing. Right? And I'm not saying that they're not relaxing now. But, damn, they could have been in a better position. All he had to do was not take PEDs. And I would think after he got caught last year, he would say, okay, you know what? They caught me. They caught me red-handed. I'm going to chill. I'm going to just do things the right way. And I'm going to try to go out here. I'm going to try to go out here and win cleanly on my own merits. I would think that's how a person would think, but not him, not him. 
his ass thinks something, something com completely different. And really, though, I really don't got no sympathy for Big Baby Miller because he always strike me as the cone type of black dude. I don't know. I think I heard him say some cool stuff before. I really got to go back and make sure. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want to misquote him in this video. But I swear I thought I heard him say some cool stuff before. And he seemed like the dude that, you know, um, that they march out from the back um, to get off. Like when black people on cold, they bring out Big Baby Miller to say, wait a minute, wait a minute, you guys. I understand we in, I know we in a lot of trife right now. Our community is, in a, is going through a lot. But all lives matter. All lives matter. He just strike me as an all lives matter type of black dude. And I'm like, get your ass up out of here. He just strike me as that type of dude. He strike me as a dude, you know, with police brutality going on and black people uh, marching and, and, and advocating against it, fighting against police brutality. He'll come out and say, I know police kill black people a lot, unarmed, but black people kill black people too. Black people kill black people too. So... We got to worry about black people killing black people before police be killing us. We got to worry about us killing black people. Like, like we got to stop killing each other first before, so the police can stop killing us, which makes no damn sense. But anyway, he just strike me as the type of dude, man. But, um, yeah, man, like, I don't care. I, it, I don't care nothing about this shit at all. Like, but, yeah, like, I don't care nothing about Big Baby Miller. Uh, I'm, I don't feel bad for him, what I'm saying. I don't feel bad for Buddy at all because... Like, for real, you didn't get caught a couple times. Like, bro, what's... You, what's you, you didn't call... You had three different steroids in your body the last time before a major fight. If you don't learn your lesson at that point, you don't care. He just, he just don't care at all. He don't care about his life or his opponent life either. He don't care at all. And if you don't care about um the other fighter's life... I mean, I, if you're willing to pump steroids into your body, Knowingly, knowing you can kill somebody and try like and go into the ring with that, you don't need to be boxing, bro. You don't need to be boxing. You didn't did this. They ain't like you got caught, you know, some minor here and there. Like, bro, you keep on, you keep on doing it. So I don't know. Boxing probably gonna get them on some ban, a ban for some years, or they might hit them with a lifetime lifetime suspension. Who knows? Who knows? We, that that shall be seen. You know, we will see that. We will see what happens with that later. But, um, yeah, bro, like, you mess around and kill somebody, dog, like, for real. And not on kill somebody off just off your own punching power. You're going to kill somebody off the fact that you just want to just keep pumping drugs in you time and time again. And Big Baby Miller come talk shit about Deontay Wilder all the time and talking shit about this dude, next dude, talk all that shit. But, bro, you out here pumping steroids into you every time and talking like you just Big Meech, like you Debo. Of course you're going to feel like you Debo. Of course you're going to feel like you Superman with an S on your chest. Because you got all that damn um whatever all in your body. All them PEDs pumped into you. You're going to come po poke out your chest like you the Hulk. Because you know you got the pharmacy on your side. You know you got the, like, this man got the whole Walgreens in his body. And just willing to, he, and at, at that point, I know you're willing to take on the world. Because, you know, it's, it's really in your favor at that point. But what what's crazy is, I think Anthony Joshua could have beat him even with the PEDs. Now, I think his stamina just would have been really high. You know what I mean? He could His work rate could have been really high. But I think Anthony Joshua probably could have beat him with the PEDs. For real. Who knows, man? But, um, yeah, I was like, man, he's ass crazy. If he would have gotten knocked out. Uh, in that fight early, he still would have got the bread. And I'm looking at all the success that Andy Ruiz had after he fought Anthony Joshua, all the bread that was thrown towards him, the big time money. I know he had endorsements. He was making all these TV appearances. His name was just everywhere. He was all over ESPN. He was coming on all these different uh, sports shows and all of that. His name was everywhere after that upset of Anthony Joshua. I'm like, man, if they could, they could have been Big Baby Miller. He could have probably. What if he would have pulled off that upset? All the money his family could have got, man, they could have been lucrative funds, man. They could have been sitting good. I don't, I'm Again, I'm not saying that they're not sitting good or eating good now, but I'm saying I'm sure his wife would have loved to be like, look, our kids could be more secure. We Get us some more millions. They, I know his family would have been great to know that they, could have, they had some more millions rolling in because of him and his fighting abilities. That's dope to know. Hey, me as a professional fighter, I have the ability to earn millions of dollars for my family and, and create gen generational wealth within my household, within my 
whole staple of my family. That's dope. That's something that you would think of like, man, that is that is beautiful to know. But he fumbled the damn bag, bro. You keep messing up the church's money. What is going on, bro? Like, what? Come on. What? I don't know what it's going to take for him to get it, but he don't see it. He don't see the bigger picture, man. But um, now, I'm sure he will, man. Machiavelli Mills TV, I'm out. Peace.